put the nose here, and boom, boom, I'll put the, the mouth about here. This is going to be straight on. And as soon as somebody turns around, you know, all the features are going to change if they turn their head. So the first thing that you want to know, one of the most important things is the, the structure of the brow. That's this bone right up here. Be very, very uh, conscious of that bone structure over the eyes. The eyes are usually about an eye width apart. Now, I don't have the outside edge of the, the thing drawn in here, so I'm kind of, kind of taking a guesstimation. Now, you want them to be about an eye width apart. And you want them to be about the same size. So I'm going to put the, suggest the pupil there, also suggest the pupil here. Now I'm going to put the, just the basic proportion or the drawing of the nose. The base of the nose, if you, if you know to look for it, sometimes you'll see it. But if you don't know to look for it, sometimes you'll miss it. And that is, there's, there's kind of like an M shape. You see the M shape here? You see that? Boom. One, two, three, four. There's an M shape there. And then we have the septum of the upper lip. And then oftentimes we'll have an M shape here. But the M shape of the, the crease of the mouth is a more elongated M shape. Okay? So the upper lip will go over this, where you have an M shape repeated here. Now, all lips are, are, are different, and here's your lower lip. Now, uh, as far as the skin tone, uh, I'm going to start, let's see, I'm, I'm going to start with the shadow color, uh, which is my raw sienna, and a little touch of burnt sienna, and a touch of this light green. And I'm just going to get a, a generic shadow color that I can put in here just to start with my, just to get something going. Now, I'll usually see a shadow in this area. Now, I'm going to look at that color and see how it looks. I'm going to put these colors here where I would more often than not see them. And I'm going to assume that the light source is coming from the upper left. So what I'm going to do is here's the, the shadow running down the side of the face. Cheek, lower lip, or upper lip. And then down here underneath the chin. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm just going to gesture this in this way just to give me, uh, you know, something to work with as far as my structure. Now I'm going to take my white, yellow ochre, and a little touch of my phthalo red rose. And I'm going to come up with a skin color for the light side of the face. I'm going to use a touch of the light green to cool it out a little bit, gray it out just a little bit. And I'll put this color down. So I'm, I'm somewhat polarized now. Uh, 
going to start with a nice dark color by taking burnt sienna and a touch of that dark green. So now I'm looking and I'm going to draw the structure of the eye. There's usually a crease that goes over that upper lid and there's usually some dark in the structure right here because of the brow. There's also some darks underneath here because of the thickness of the, the lower lid and some darks over here. I'll do that on the other side here also. I'll show this. Now we want to show that upper crease coming along. Now, a person's left eye is not always a mirror image of the right eye. Some people, their eyes are not the same on left or right. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in kind of a, a gray. The white of the eye, usually you want to put in as, as somewhat of a, a bluish gray. So I'm going to put just a suggestion of that here and here, and on the shadow side of the eyeball, it's going to be a, a slightly darker color. Okay. Now I'm going to put the dark of the eye, that I'm going to put the iris in. And to put the dark of the eye, you want to start nice and dark. Whether it's blue eyes or brown eyes, you want to just have uh, a real dark eye. When Rembrandt painted, most of his eyes were just black. When you look at the portraits of Rembrandt, very seldom do you really know what color the eyes of the subject were. They're just dark. I'm using burnt sienna and my cobalt blue to get this dark. Now after I get this much done, I'm going to go back and revisit the design of the eye, but I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to get a real nice dark dark by taking the burnt sienna and the blue. I'm going to use a smaller brush now so that I can work on the design of the eye a little bit more. I'm going to show a little bit of the redness of the tear duct, I'm taking some red and adding it to the, the uh, kind of the shadow color that I had. I want to warm this up just a little bit. Now I'm going to go back and mix a light skin color again. I'm going to pop a couple of these light skin colors in just to make it a little bit more solid as far as my patterns of light and shadows and so on. So I'm 